everyone, it's Retro Winding. Yes, it's Sunday, so I can only need one thing, and that is Sunday. I nearly said Sunday 10 minute teaser then. Sunday Hit Squad, that's right, the Hit Squad. Obviously, I'm every Tuesday and Sunday for uh, Mass System Tuesday, Sunday Amstrad. So, this week, as I said last week, we have got Bubble Bobble. Um, and I know this is awesome on the Mass System. Obviously, I'm pointing over there because that's where the collection is. And I know it's awesome on the arcade. I'm pointing on the arcade there. Um, so I played the arcade version. I played the Master System version. Both were outstanding. The arcade version is just like, wow. And the music just sticks in your head and stays there forever. Um, so it would be interesting to see. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've just opened it up and didn't realise. So inside there, if you can see... Obviously, it tells you um, points for what fruit you get or jewellery, you know, crowns. And it even gives you the um, name of the uh, the bad guys. Blubber, Boris, Boner. Boner. Hope I get myself a Boner while I play this game. Um... <laughs> oh, my God, one called Boner. So one bubble blow. It tells you on here how to destroy. So his little instructions there, basically how to play a game. It shows you the little dragon. Is he a dragon? I feel that's what he is, a little dragon. Uh, bubble blow. So you blow a bubble, and it says, number one, blow a bubble. Number two, box up bullies. Then it pretty much shows you, I think you bounce it off you, and it'll pop. Oh, then three, and three, and then burst them. I'll say by bursting bubbles containing fire, thunder, and water that appears in previous stages. So yeah, it tells you. So pretty good in depth. Um, telling you everything about it. The game actually is pretty uh, in depth. I like that. That's pretty cool. So obviously, it's quite simple. It's going to be a joystick. I'm not going to play keys. Um, so it's nice and easy. One button for a bubble. Joystick to move around. So that's what I like. Um, Number is easy Granville. Number 30 it says there. So arcade number 30. Um so I didn't realise I played through that many. I am missing a couple of numbers. I think only number 27 has pointed out by April Ray the other week. So I'm missing number 27. So I do I'm banging through these, aren't I? So yeah. Anyway, it's loaded up. It didn't take long to load up, actually, about two minutes to load up. I'm hoping when I hit fire. It's just going to play and not jump through to a um, load up levels. Because last week, what was it, APB last week, just wanted to load all the time and it just frustrated the hell out of me. I think I was just, not, I think I was tired last, really tired last week and just not not the patience for uh, old micro bit computers loading up uh, levels. So uh, anyway, we're going to jump in. We're going to have a look. We're going to see if this game is any good on the... 8-bit microcomputer, because I know it's 8-bit on the mass system, it's fantastic on there. So I'm expecting, with obviously the CRTV, so it's in colour, to look and play well. Hopefully it uses a bit more screen and doesn't, you know, concave it down. So we'll have a look to find out if, any, if it's any good. Let's find out how, uh, how good this game is. So I need to find player 1. Let's turn it up and find the volume. Oh, I need to press R to refine keys. It's not doing anything. So I need to refine. Right, I'm going to have to die. Right, let's, let's jump out. Let's stop recording. Right then. So what I've done is I tried to have a quick go on player one. And it's keys only for player one. I looked in the instruction. It says player one, keys only. So I refined the keys. Had a quick go at keys. It works. But then it said player two is joystick. So I press two player. And I can be two. I can be player two with a joystick, or player one with the keys. So if I want to play one player, I've got to use keys. Or if I hit two player, I can use joysticks. So what I'm going to do is hit two players and see if I can play it as just as player two on the joystick. So, like I said, I've done. Look, I've done player one as the keyboard. And what I'm most disappointed about is the fact. Where's the, where's the amazing tune? All I've got is sounds. I said just jumping sounds and bubble sounds. So I'm really disappointed that they haven't got the, the original music. That 
makes the game as well. It looks good, don't get me wrong, it looks really good. Um, the controls on the joystick, it moves pretty well. So, it, 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 you know, it does what, it's, does what it says, you know, it plays. But um, I'm really disappointed there's no music. You know what I'm like? I love games with music. And I'm really disappointed that there's no music in this game. But saying that, though, it's pretty much used the whole screen. And it's um, beautiful colours. Absolutely stunning colours. Absolutely stunning. Shit. I thought I got him before he jumped over. That's annoying. Oh no, is he gonna. Yeah. Right, I better pop, bounce out of there. But, um. Oh, fucking hell. I thought I'd gone enough in so I could drop down and get him. But, like I say, yeah, it, look, it looks pretty good. Oh, what did I hear? Oh, get all his lollipops by, by, by all counts. Oh, that, the jumping noise is slightly uh, off-putting, shall we say. But, um, oh, there's a time, I've just seen there's a timer on it. Can I get all of them? Yes. I've got the bonus. Yeah, where's the music? Where's the awesome music from Bubble Bubble? Fantastic music. But like I'm saying, it looks pretty good. It mechanics behind it, it it moves pretty well. Oh fucking hell. My RSM was hanging out a bit too much there, wasn't it? So uh It is what it is. Matey boy is looking a bit angry, isn't he? Oh, it's easy. It's easy to bounce and jump around. It's just so quiet. No, having no music. Got him. It's just, yeah. Not a fan of no music games. I'm starting to repeat myself, aren't I? But, like I say, it's, it's a good looking game. It uses pretty much the whole screen. It's playing well. Got all them buggers. Get all the gems. But yeah, just that noise from jumping is a bit annoying. But it's playing all right. I don't, I don't know. Gone all out with the graphics they have, and not um, not put enough effort in the uh, music. That's all I can say. But it's playable. It looks good. Don't know what it is with games and their music. It just they just don't have that excitement behind it having music. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying playing this right now. Oh shit! That's me dead in it. Get the letters. Got them buggers. Get some fruit, get the old points on the table. Here we go. Can't even see what round I'm on. That's round eight, I think it says. Oh, I should have got them, should have waited for that letter to come down and got the letter, shouldn't have really. But yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm liking it. There's no load up levels, it's already loaded up. Um, look, just switching straight through to the next round. There's no real big long pause and delays. It's, yeah, it is what it is. And it works. So I can't exactly give it too much. Oh, you bastard, fireballed me. Absolutely fireballed me. So, um, yeah. 
try and concentrate and talk at the same time is not a strong suit for me, but yeah, I'm enjoying playing it. Right, oh, there you go, round 10. Nice orange colour bursting through there. It's... Can I get them? Nope. Just wanted to get round here on it somehow. Shit, no. Missed them. Oh, it's got these stepping stones, aren't they? That whale's gonna get me. Was that Boner? <laughs> Boner the whale? Just that noise. Boom! Yeah, it's a bit. Oh, you bitch. I thought I got him. Game over then. Game over, man. There we go. That was Bubble Bubble on the Amstrad CPC 464. And I think you could tell by my voice that I was a bit disappointed playing it because I really was expecting the, the music. To be fair, I expected at least some music on the uh, title screen, you know, as it as the game starts, it's got fantastic music, it comes in, lovely tune, sets you up for the game starting, you like, it pulls you in, gets your hype for it, and it didn't, no music, flat, felt really flat, I don't know what it is, just no music, background music at all in games, just feels so flat that, I don't know, it just weird it's a weird feeling playing a game new i just think it's so flat so yeah lovely cover color cover art um i do like it like i said number 30 um oh yeah it's always on the back there's always a uh review so it's a little little really so the number one arcade game now brilliantly converted to the home micro fantastic gameplay true to the arcade original i give it that gameplay was just like the arcade yeah it didn't look like it obviously but the mechanics behind it i had to play two player so i could play joystick and let player one die off um i had a practice just before see if the keys would work yeah i could play player one and keys but player two is joystick um i guess that's so you can play two player it gives you the option so you're not both hogging the keyboard playing i guess but why not why make play two um joystick why not make player one joystick because player one's always you're going to play it more on your own than you are two players, so why not make player one joystick and play a two keyboard? I don't understand the um, the reasoning behind that. So, um, yeah, that was a poor move by them making this. They should have made player one joystick. Player one's the most important. You're number one, aren't you? Number one. Um, but, yeah, great game. Love playing it. Fantastic in colour. I like how it pretty much used the whole screen. Um for the game unlike was it apb last week was um it really tiny screen it really didn't use the whole whole screen should i say so yeah no i um, the bleh, boys yeah i liked it i liked it i liked playing it uh would i play it on the amstrad again no because i i just literally fire up the arcade and play on the arcade or stick the mass system version on over it if, if there's a cause of me just coming in here just to play it quickly or have a good long night out of it. I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna pick the arcade, but definitely pick my system over the Amstrad because of the music. The music makes it better. Uh, Gameplay slightly better on the uh, my system. Looks slightly better, but I think they did a fantastic job of making it. The port on it's fantastic, colourful. It played well. It won't clanky and clunky. Levels or rounds as it was called. Just keep going. Just keep going. No pressing play and waiting for it to load up uh, more levels or rounds. So that was brilliant. So that goes for it. The only, I'm going to knock it down a couple of scores for no music. Uh, right, so no music. So it's a zero for that. It looked beautiful. Great looking game. Looked good. 8 out of 10 for looks. Uh, playability, 8 out of 10. It played really well. Um, so I'm going to give it 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10, I reckon. Because I think it's the music it just killed it for me but yeah six and a half out of ten i think that's a fair score for it it played well it looked good um it's one of those games i think that each round that goes on can get quite repetitive because you're just doing the same thing over and over again really it's not like it's a platformer and you're going through and stuff like that or any other thing you know but i'm losing my mind over but no 
if if you like bubble bobble um on the arcade and you um it was back in the day obviously and you went to, to the shop and bought this either on the spectrum commodore 64 or amstrad i don't think you would be disappointed with it i think you would have i think you would have liked it i liked it so uh, on that one 6.5 out of 10 a very good conversion on the amstrad yes i've got it would i play it again on the amstrad i would but I don't know. If I sold everything in this room and I kept my Mac computer with my Amstrad, would I load up all these games on it? Would I load this up and play it again? Yes. So on that note, we'll call it a day and we'll have a little sneak preview for next week, which is, and funny enough, I just got this. I just got this about two days ago and it is Renegade 3. What's it called? The final chapter. Renegade 3, the final chapter. I just got this. Uh, like two days ago so that's nice so we're playing that next week i look forward to playing that um i've not played it before so yeah interesting to see how that plays out but yeah thanks very much for uh popping in and uh watching me uh play on this arcadic old very old relic of a microcomputer I do appreciate you popping in i know the views aren't always going to be high for this kind of caliber but those who are dropping in and watching and commenting, I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one.